So it's apparently been over four years since I first um, had this idea of, you know, starting a podcast or uh, having my YouTube channel and creating content for people. But it took me this long to finally gather the confidence, the courage, the know-how, the identity to kind of get started, right? Well, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of us that have always wanted to create some kind of content, but not all of us have been able to. And I think it's because there are a lot of self-work that are necessary uh, for us to uh, purposefully get started as a content creator or honestly purposefully get started doing anything else, right? Because uh, we need to uh, work on ourselves before we can truly commit to something else so i'm going to talk to you guys about all these things that i did struggle with and the few solutions that i was able to find within my experience uh getting started all right guys stick with me i will be right back Hi guys, welcome to A World Within. I am your host Bipin Koirala and this is my first video here on YouTube. So extra, extra welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. Well, let me get quickly into what I'm going to be doing on this channel as an introduction for you guys. So you can subscribe, you know, you can like my videos and you can expect some great content in the future, right? The idea for me uh, about creating this channel was to try and create kind of like a vibe, right? Like I wanted to create a space for like-minded people, you know, people like me, oddballs that never fit in. That is my uh, ultimate goal is to create that community where we can have, you know, back and forth conversations. I want to eventually get to do like, you know, question answer sessions where you guys can leave questions in the comment and I'm gonna try to answer all of your questions as honestly and as thoroughly as possible. And I wanna, you know, do some painting sessions. I wanna do some affirmations. I wanna pick some cards and whatnot. We'll do a lot of cool stuff. We're gonna try to just uh, create this community where we can come together, f make each other feel good, make each other, uh, you know, feel better about ourselves, educate each other, inspire each other, and ultimately, you know, f uh, create a place where all of us can truly express ourselves. All right, guys, now right on to the video, the self-work necessary to purposefully get started on YouTube, or as a content creator on any platform. All right guys, first thing first, right? One of the things that I really struggled with in the beginning was, uh, you know, I wanted to create a content and, you know, I knew that I had something to add to the world, but I didn't know how that would translate to a YouTube setting, right? So I've been struggling with that even now. And I think one of the things that I've found that has like really pushed me to just start creating content and not really worry about that is my wife told me, you know, um, whenever people meet me in real life, um, you know, I had actually asked her, uh, so what is it that people uh, see in me that makes them open up to me so easily, right? And she told me, it's not anything specific, it's not a variable that I am, um, you know, utilizing property or anything else like that, but rather it's my whole personality, right? Like who I am as a person. So um, after she told me that, I realized maybe that's what, um, that's what I'm gonna be doing here on YouTube, right? Just trying to, trying to be myself, trying to talk to people and you know, hopefully people will resonate with me, hopefully will, people will understand where I'm coming from with a lot of these things I'm gonna talk about and hopefully people will find some kind of value so they can apply the lessons they learn from my solutions into their own lives, right? Because that's the ultimate goal for all of us. But anyway, so that's the main thing. Um, how do you uh, figure out you have you have something to offer, right? Um, yes, like this whole thing with my wife helped, but the other thing that really helped me was um, when I started creating some YouTube, uh, sorry, some TikTok videos, right? 
and what I had intended to do there was you know I wanted to create a YouTube content and this time I was genuinely serious and probably the last four years of like having this idea that's was this was the first time I was actually serious about this right so I opened a TikTok account and I started creating videos every morning when I went out on a walk. I would just kind of talk about whatever was on my mind, right? Someday I would talk about like uh, writing a diary and how it had helped me. Someday I would talk about like brushing my teeth with my left hand, right? Well, I mean, for me, it helped me wake up in the morning. So I told people about this and a lot of people ended up actually liking this, right? So one thing I realized is if I just kind of tell people some of these weird things that I do and why I do them, some people might actually resonate with it and some people might actually apply that within their lives as well, which is amazing, right? Especially something crazy like brushing your teeth with your non-dominant hand. Simple yet effective. But anyway, so that was uh, one of the things, right? Like once I started creating uh, content there on TikTok, I realized that maybe i had that uh, value right like my unique perspective of the world my unique way of dealing with the world and my unique understanding of this world was uh, what i could share with people in the hopes that it'll resonate with me and in the hopes that it will help them in their own lives in their own problems right so that was definitely really 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 helpful so i definitely recommend you guys uh, you know uh, take a platform that is not as intimidating to you right uh, for me youtube was too intimidating to directly start so i started on tiktok so you could do the same thing instagram facebook wherever you feel comfortable even snapchat you could start posting videos and trying to really uh, gather uh, the um, understanding that you do have something to add right and honestly the biggest thing is all of us have a story to tell and what I mean by that is um, each of us comes in this world with a, a set of predisposition like genetic material and you know we gather these experiences throughout our life to shape us into the person that we are. So each of us have a completely unique path. Even twins have unique paths, right? Because every single interaction that they have on every single part of their life is not going to be the same as the other twins. So even twins are going to be very different. So each of us have this unique story that makes us who we are. So if we can really dive into ourselves and figure out what are those things that really make us unique, then I think we can definitely, definitely create content or, uh, you know, create a podcast, YouTube video, whatever it is that we want to do and express ourselves creatively and know that or have the confidence that we can truly add value to this world, right? And yeah, so um, what kind of content am I going to talk about? Do I have value to the, uh, add to this world? Yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. Each of us has a unique story to tell and each of us has a unique sense about this world that everybody else is going to find pretty damn amazing, right? Especially if we are true to who we are. And that leads me to my next point. My next point, staying true to who you are. And this, I wanna to talk to you about within the context of identity, within, um, you know, creating uh, content online, right? So the main thing uh, that I hear a lot of people talk about is uh, they tell you to be yourself in camera, right? Yeah, you have to express your true uh, perception and your true understanding of how these things are going. You can't, you know, modify yourself to try and attract a certain, a certain audience or anything else like that because honestly, long term, it becomes probably too heavy to keep up, right? Like how long can you put your uh, act on, right? People are gonna either tell eventually that you're putting an act on or people are gonna just, um, ultimately not uh, resonate with you right and that's even worse right if people start resonating with it resonating with you because you are now creating these things to try and attract more people that's just not gonna work so yes you have to be yourself but I think that comes with a little, little caveat right and what that is is 
I think you have to be yourself within what you are trying to represent to the world, right? And what I mean by that is, let's say you want to have a comic channel, right? Like a, a funny comedy based channel, then you want to show the lighthearted, funnier side of yourself within the context of that channel, right? I don't mean like you have to completely modify yourself for that channel, but rather you have to tweak certain expressions in order to um, uh, show people or in order to present to people what you are truly trying to present right so that's that when it comes to identity yes be true to who you are within the context of what you are trying to present and you're gonna do great and I think you really shouldn't be worrying about that anyway honestly because once you get in front of the camera and once you like you know have enough practice with it you're gonna be able to uh, you know find this fluency and find this kind of technique to just uh, speak in a camera like you're talking to another person anyway. So that's a lot of things that I'm gonna touch on on my next point, which is how do you gather the confidence to speak in front of a camera and possibly be viewed by millions of people? I'll be right back. Let's talk about how do you gather the confidence to, uh, you know, uh, film yourself, put yourself out there and possibly be viewed and criticized by millions of people. Well, that's a thing that everybody struggles with, right? Nobody just uh, existed in knowing how to be fluent in front of a camera, knowing how to present themselves in um, a mass audience like this, right? Nobody knows this. So what do we do? How do we gather the confidence for it? Well. That, remember that TikTok example from my first point? Well, same thing again. I tried that TikTok and what it gave me was um, kind of like a camera confidence, right? Each video I made, you know, I would spend the time trying to edit it and everything. So I would see myself, uh, you know, in that context and I would know what I do that I don't like, what I do that I like, that I want to add in my future videos and everything else. And I make a mental point of it. So uh, once that is done, uh, the next video is gonna be slightly better than my earlier video and it keeps going on to the rest of what I create, right? Like each video I make is simultaneously gonna be better than the last video because I have watched that video and I've seen what works and what doesn't within that context. So that's the main thing. Uh, find something that, um, you know, like find a platform that you are comfortable in, that you think you can create content for, and then just start putting yourself out there. But I'm gonna tell you, definitely post these videos though. Like don't take videos and just save them on your camera roll. That does help because I do that a lot as well. But when you do post these videos, I think there's a different kind of like growth that you're gonna go through, right? Uh, I'll give you one example. Um, uh, on TikTok, I had posted this one video that I really liked, right? And I was very happy about it, and I was kind of excited about it. And I did get uh, quite a few views on it, but this one comment really opened my eyes up. She wrote, so I really like your content, so I wanted to listen to the video, but there are certain points where the background music is so loud that I can't even hear what you are saying. So for me, I was like, oh wow. I did not realize that because I didn't, uh, you know, I, I listened to the background music on the context of the video for the first couple of seconds and then I thought, okay, the volumes are fine, but I didn't realize that, you know, maybe I had gotten um, my volume, I had gotten quieter, you know, my volume had gotten lowered or maybe the uh, background music picked up at a certain point, right? I didn't realize it and that ended up like kind of, um, you know, reducing the quality of my video. and. Uh, that's something that next time on I won't make a mistake with, right? So there's certain things like that that you tend to overlook when you're starting out that, uh, you know, you're gonna really um, feel better about if you uh, kind of start on TikTok or anything else like that and you're gonna keep getting better and better in that way as you just keep making more videos. All right, so now here's the thing though. Um, one of the things that's necessary for you to be able to sit and just create these videos and talk to a camera though is being able to be in the moment.
So, my next point is, like you guys already heard, uh, do things that bring yourself to the moment constantly and frequently, right? And what do I mean by that? So, a lot of times, right, our minds are um, uh, filled with thoughts and ideas and, um, you know, just um, repetitive things at times, you know, goals, anxieties, um, all of these things are constantly in our mind. But um, what we do on a daily basis doesn't usually help with emptying our mind right it doesn't help with creating space in this mind because a lot of us are just consuming content all the time all of us are a lot of us are just you know indulging in these worldly things that just keep taking our attention and they keep uh, filling up our mind so what that does when it comes to the context of creating content is now your mind is filled with all these things and you don't have space to create content because you don't have the space for your creativity to go wild right when you really can bring yourself to the moment and empty your mind up then your creativity can flow it can you know it has the entire space within your brain to really um, you know just play around with different ideas and come up with uh, creative thoughts and creative concepts that ultimately is gonna help you boost your confidence in terms of creating content right so it's very 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 important to do things to bring yourself to the moment so like one of the things I do right is every morning I take a shower I'm a morning shower guy mostly because like you know the shower really wakes me up and I have like a, my little ritual trend thing that I do on my shower right that um, requires me to pretty much shower in the morning but besides that point uh, what I do sometimes right when I really need to ground like especially on a day like today when I want to sit here and film video for hours on end I want to be able to be in the moment in this entire time so what I do is like I'll put up some um, calming music on my speaker uh, I'll light some a, a candle with some aromatherapy oils and whatnot I'm gonna you know in the bathroom as well I'm gonna light up some candles have some amazing uh, perfume going on uh, some calm music and everything that way my whole mentality is around this um, you know calm myself down uh, around not having these anxious thoughts that just keep like um, you know distracting me and taking me to these places that I don't necessarily need to be when I'm trying to create these content like I mean trust me I love just disappearing in my thoughts and just going to these places that uh, you know are so wild and creative but when I have to sit down here and do this I can't be thinking that way right so I do these things that will bring me to the moment so after the shower thing honestly when I get out of the shower there's still music playing there's some amazing aromas around me I am just in this mood of calm and collectedness and after the prayers I did uh, on my shower I am all ready to just sit here and focus on doing what I am trying to do and that's the main thing right you have to do things to bring yourself to the moment so you have space to do what you want to do at all time and speaking of doing things that bring you to the moment we all know one of the best things is meditation and that's gonna be on to my next point All right, so let's talk about meditation, right? It's such a such a difficult thing. And honestly, one thing I realized is without meditation, a lot of people would not be successful. And trust me, it's 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 weird, but it's pretty damn true. Cause um, you know, meditation the way we think right now and the way you know uh, is agreed upon to be a certain way is not what I mean by meditation. For me, medit by meditation I mean 
a moment where you are allowing yourself to observe your thoughts without getting involved in them too much, right? And meditation can come in a lot of forms. You could be in the busiest set of setting. You don't have to sit in a quiet, empty place in the middle of a forest to be able to meditate. No, you can meditate wherever you are. All it takes for you, uh, all it takes is for you to be able to focus within yourself. You know, take deep breaths and let yourself calm down. See, even just that moment did so much to my body that, you know, uh, me just sitting here and trying to stretch wouldn't have, right? Just me taking this deep breath and focusing on that breath and just really letting myself calm down is as good of a way to meditate as anything else. And honestly, a lot of us don't have the time to go to a rainforest and meditate for hours on end, for weeks on end, right? So what we need to do is find ways that give us the same feeling of uh, meditative um, calm without having to uh, find, uh, you know, without having to worry about the setting or without having to worry about our environment as much. And one of the best things that helps me in this regard is writing my thoughts down. And I know, I know, everybody tells you to write your thoughts down, right? Everybody is always like, oh yeah, write a journal, have this, that going. And I never believed on it. I never, I, I was never sold on it. For me to just sit down and write, um, you know, whatever happened in the day and everything, I didn't see that as a fruitful thing. So, one of the things that I uh, did recently that changed my mind on it though is this. So, instead of thinking about writing your thoughts down as a journal entry, I want you to think of it as a therapy session but with yourself, right? Um, instead of, uh, you know, trying to write down what you felt, what you're grateful for, this, that, I want you to write down whatever is in your mind right now. Just uh, whatever thought is currently in your mind, just write that down and, you know, write the next thought down and the thought after that and this and that. And it will truly help you just move on and observe these thoughts, but not get too involved in them, in them, right? Not get involved in them to a point where they are worrying you and they're stressing you out. So, uh, you know, writing these thoughts down like this is gonna really help you also clear your mind. It brings you to that moment that I was talking to you about before that we need in order to, you know, have space for creative thinking, in order to have space for creative practice, right? So definitely meditate, but if you don't have the time or the setting to do meditation in a traditional sense, uh, write your thoughts down. Whenever uh, you know you have even a couple of moments when you're sitting down, to, sipping some, uh, uh, sipping a cup of coffee, or you're on your commute uh, on a train back from work, wherever you are, just take a couple of moments to write your thoughts down. You don't even have to uh, write it on a pen and paper. Just take your, uh, take your phones and you know just on um, the notepad or whatever on your phone just uh, write down your thoughts write down how you feel at that moment you know write down what thought is in your head at that moment and it's gonna really help you clear that space in your head and provide some space for creative practices all right guys on to my next point now on to probably the most important aspect of all of this right do you really want to do this are you truly passionate about creating content for other people do you really want to start on this journey in the hopes of making this a full-time career well that's something you need to answer at first right and this is something you know we see in other people you know we see other people creating content and we're like oh my god they have such an easy life you know they're just making videos and not working like regular people right and it's not just even a judgment it's even a struggle for a lot of a lot of us right because we've grown up especially you know thinking about work in such a traditional way that for us to um, come to this point and accept that we could be doing uh, content creation and you know truly um, commit to this is pretty difficult because it's so non-traditional and so unexpected right this is almost like a dream job for um, creatives right i mean 
that's something I told my wife. I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. This is pretty much what all of us creatives have been pretty much waiting for our entire lives, right? This chance to just be ourselves and uh, share ourselves to the world in the hope that they resonate with us so that we can just, you know, use this as a means of living. You know, entertaining other people, creating things that we like for other people. If this could just be our life forever, this is amazing, right? So, uh, you know, this is almost like a dreamlike state. So for us, it's intimidating or almost too alien to truly accept that this could be a profession. So a lot of us are questioning whether this is real or not, whether it is their true purpose or not, whether they really want to do it and commit on it or not, right? So. I was on the same thing, like, you know, I was on the same um, same path. I was thinking the same way, right? I always wanted to create content, but, uh, you know, I wasn't truly committed to this idea. Hmm. <sighs> Tea though, right? But anyway, so, uh, what happened for me though was once I, you know, said, you know what, let me try this on TikTok, on Instagram, this, that, and then try to build up the courage and confidence and get to this point of uh, creating this content, I, you know, brought my camera, I got some lighting equipment and everything to just try things out. And what I realized as I started doing these is that I really enjoyed even the nuances like, you know, uh, changing the setting, uh, the computers, uh, you know, all of this, like editing and everything else. Like I really found it enjoyable. That's very important. You have to find this process very enjoyable if you want to do this full time. Because honestly, I'm going to tell you, this doesn't look like hard work, right? And technically it's not hard work because uh, you know, spending the effort and time to do what you love is not necessarily hard work the same way you think about every other type of hard work. So it's not hard work, but there's a lot of work you need to put in order to be successful or in order to create satisfactory, purposeful content, right? And for me, Another thing that really stood out within my process of starting this was um, I did not uh, know how many problems you would encounter within this process. I did not know that any moment your computer might crash or your software is gonna crash and you lost five hours of work if you because you have you forgot to save because you've just been in the moment creating this content or sometimes the camera stops functioning and you gotta get a new camera or you gotta look for an alternative to whatever you are trying to do. So how do you tackle these problems, right? There's a lot of these problems too. So it takes a lot of patience to kind of seriously go through these problems and really uh, be able to stay calm through solving these issues and really um, looking at things in a large, big picture perspective. If you just let yourself get too uh, irritated within these little tasks, then you're gonna burn yourself out, right? You're gonna one day just get up, you're pissed and you break your camera, you're gonna reach that point and you do not want to reach that point. So, um, you know, when you first start this out, try it out for a little bit. See if you are ready to go through the ups and downs with it, right? It's like a relationship, honestly. It's like a relationship with YouTube, right? I mean, it's like I'm talking to you guys through this camera, so for me, it's a relationship with you guys in here. And this relationship needs nurturing, this relationship needs patience. There's a lot of messy things that happen within this relationship, right? So are you ready for this commitment? That's one of the biggest things we have to try and answer before we, you know, quit our jobs and say, oh, I'm gonna be a full-time YouTube content creator or whatnot, right? This is, uh, you know, it's serious. It's it's serious thing. And you have to be very intentful and purposeful if you wanna be successful within this context, within YouTube, within any other content creator platform, right? And that is it on the self work necessary to purposefully get started on YouTube. You guys stick through the outro. I'm gonna go over what you can expect in the future in this channel. I'm gonna go over what I'm gonna be bringing you, you guys in the near future. So I'll be right back. All right guys, 
thank you so much for watching that video i really really appreciate you sticking till the end and i hope you found some kind of value within that content and if you did don't forget to hit that like button it really helps me out especially since i'm just starting out on youtube any uh, interaction with my content is really gonna help me out so don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave comments about what you guys want to see in this channel i'm gonna try to take in your request and produce as much content that you guys want to see as possible at least within my personality right if it's too far off my personality i'm probably not gonna do it but i'm gonna try to you know uh, reply to every single comment i'm gonna uh, like i said create a community here so i gotta get involved with you guys right so Please leave some comments, leave me some feedback and uh, hopefully uh, my next content is gonna be me going through some of my favorite affirmations from my favorite affirmation deck, right? And even more than that, we'll probably read one of my books, we're gonna go through some theories, um, maybe we'll even do a painting together, who knows, right? It's fun here, it's a fun time with Bippin. Anyway, so. Like I said again, thank you so much for watching that video, but for now, I have to go. You guys have a great week. I hope you enjoy every single moment in the coming week. Namaste and goodbye.